Hi everyone, I'm Max Marganaut, and I'm here to talk about Pipeline Custom Factors. Pipeline is a tool that allows you to express efficient computations across large universes of securities. You can use uh, different computations to filter down the overall uni universe that you're dealing with, and then perform whatever expressions that you want across those universes. Now, as part of this, Pipeline provides a bunch of computations that are predefined that you can easily use. This includes stuff like calculating a simple moving average or a volume-weighted average price, all the way up to a bunch of basic fundamental factors and technical factors, all included as part of Pipeline. Now, you can see the full scope of what is actually importable, what's already predefined, by just going to a research cell and hitting from quantopian.pipeline.factors import, and then hit the tab button. That's going to show this list that you can go down and see everything that's fully available. There are definitely going to be cases where you need something, you need some computation that is not predefined. In this case, this is where we provide the custom factor class. So by extending the custom factor class, you can express a whole set of new computations. It provides a lot more flexibility than you otherwise have. To create a custom factor and define your own custom computation, what you need to do is create some value that extends the custom factor class. You're then going to add in the window length, the length of time that your factor needs data for, as well as the inputs which is going to be a list of the different parameters that your factor looks at in order to create any sort of computation. What it's going to do is when you run this through a pipeline, it's going to pull your inputs over the window length that you've specified. Finally, you have to define the compute function, which has a bunch of boilerplate as part of it. Self, today, assets, and out are the first parameters as part of the compute function. And then after that, you add in names for the inputs that you feed into the custom factor. Then when you're actually running this custom factor through a pipeline, what pipeline does is it runs and it fetches the inputs and feeds them into the compute function through those parameters in the form of NumPy arrays. And then you can express whatever computation that you want using NumPy code and then write it to the out array. This results in a factor that's similar to any other factor that is already predefined. You can use all of the methods that are attached to the predefined factors, such as Windsorization and any sort of ranking or filtering that you want on a custom factor. It's all just part of the general factor class, so you're fine using it on this. So ideally what this gives you is one value per asset every single day over which you run the pipeline. If you're confused at all about the syntax of a custom factor or defining one, it's a little tricky, so don't worry about it. We have plenty of resources in the form of the pipeline tutorial at quantopian.com slash tutorials. Go check that out for a refresher of pipeline itself, as well as a little bit of a tutorial about custom factor. And then there is any number of research notebooks that are templates or template algorithms that you can find on the community forums or in the lecture series.